Hi guys, good afternoon or rather good morning. It's about 11.51 right now. And today is 11th of September 2018. So, you know, of course, I've made a lot and lot of videos about how do you use the bracket order? How do you put the stop loss and the target in the same order? And how much, you know, like being using the least amount of money you can trade max. Although I don't suggest that. But the thing is that if you're really sure about your market, uh, trade, let's say, I'm going to give you examples of my trades. So if you're really sure about a trade and you want to, you know, maximize your profits and then what you can do is you can use the bracket order and in bracket order, basically Zerodha, I mean, I'm talking about Zerodha, but there are many other um, providers. I don't know whether fires doesn't have bracket order as of now. And I don't know about top stocks, but many of the service providers do give us, you know, the option of bracket order in which you can give a stop loss and you can give the target at the same time. What are the benefit of it? See, the first and foremost about this particular order I want to tell you is you have to be 100% sure, right? If you are not sure even 1% or 0.01%, then don't use bracket order because you will, you know, there is more probability of you to hit the stop loss than to meet the target. And then, uh, the the second thing is you, if you're dead sure about you know the call or the um, you know one your trade where you want to enter then you use the bracket order and margin required is going to be much much lesser it will depend upon the stop loss that you will be using if the stop loss is very tight very very close the margin required will be very less so let me take you to the market and explain you with an example how we could really do that. So like yesterday, I uh, gave a call on HDFC Bank, not HDFC Bank, just HDFC. And I said that you have to sell it below 1910 and your stop loss will be 1920. The top of this candle was our stop loss. I mean, um, I don't see it here, but uh, anyway, from my calculation, 10 points was the stop loss and 30 points was my target right so what you need to do go to the future lot right we want to sell it even equity you can do it you can do it in the futures so i want to sell it right and what you need to do go to the bracket order right let me just explain you first with the normal way you go to the sell order right you will get something like this right uh, where you have mis or normal options so you have to go to more options just notice it clearly you have to go to the, let me just close it once again. This is, I wanted to sell the future lot. So you see here more options. You can see out here. This is the more option that you see, right? Or or let me just uh, make it better for you. If you see here, this is more option, right? You will click over here. And from here, you will go to, you know, bracket order, right? From here, you will go to the, bracket order so click on this and you get the bracket order and bracket order we have decided about a stop loss of about 10 points and a target of about 30 points and sorry 30 points right and just sell it that it's as simple as that right but if i say sell below this point like i was very particular about selling it below 1910 but the price at that time 1915 little higher so what you need to do put the stop loss order and whatever price you are putting here you put the same price over here and this is for the members who have recently joined me and have been getting these queries how can we put the order and the stop loss the stop loss and the target in the same <coughs> uh, same order itself so this is called the bracket order and suppose the price is some way high, higher, you know, like price was some way here, higher. And we wanted to like some way here and over here, but we wanted to break this level, you know, like morning range has to be broken. Then what do we know? do to ensure that we get the right entry? Because when the entry comes, you probably will not be able to have it. What you need to do, put the stop loss order because we want to buy on a lower price, lower price than um, uh, uh, you know, normally people, uh, we want to sell it on a lower price. We want to sell it on a, we don't want to sell it on a higher price. We want to sell it on a lower price. So what we need to do, put the stop loss order. Or if you want to 
by that particular value itself, then you can put the limit value. Like suppose if it reaches 1910 and you want to sell it at that point, just put the limit order. Okay, now comes the question, you know, this is how you will put the bracket order. I showed you where you get the bracket order. Now comes the question, how much is the money required? So this is the Zerodha's futures uh, margin uh, platform and you have it here, the bracket order and the cover order, right? And if you just go to the bracket order and the cover order, click it over here. You can, I mean, I don't use cover order much, but you can definitely use, I mean, I use, actually often I use bracket order when I'm dead sure about my trades. So, Please remember bracket order and the cover order, both of them are going to be MIS order. They will not be carry forwarded. They will be auto squared off at about 320 or so, right? And then um, you will get the higher leverage. Now let's figure out how much leverage will be um, we can get. So I'm going to type HDFC and this is September month and uh, price was 1910 we wanted to sell it at 1910 and our stop loss was 10 points means 1920 was my stop loss and sell it and calculate how much money you need you needed only 25785 rupees and if you just check in general normal how much money is required let's go here and see what is happening in the futures. So if you go to HDFC bank here, simple HDFC here on the list where which is provided, you can see HDFC bank needs 53,000 rupees for MIS. This is carry forward money and this is intraday money 53,576. If you use bracket order, it just becomes half of it, even less than half of it, right? So that's the leverage you get, you know, but as I'm telling you, if you trade in something where you need more leverage, you have to be dead sure about it. You need to be dead sure about it. Then only you should take, take the trade. Otherwise, please don't take the trade. That is something you should remember. So hope I'm clear about what I started with. The money required is much lesser. The bracket order will give you the stop loss and the target both. And you will be able to, you don't need to put two orders. Otherwise, what do you do? Suppose you have sold something, you have to put a stop loss order, means buyback order you have to put, right? You don't need to do that. Similarly, like I'm today, I'm having a pretty negative view on Nifty since yesterday. So suppose we want to sell Nifty with the, you know, uh, with, any uh, strategy that you have in mind so you, you what you can really do is do sell and one lot where where do i want to sell i wanted to sell it at 4485 right that's where i wanted to sell and my target was my stop loss was about 20 points so my stop loss will 20 points my target is at least 50 points this is how i will do this is my bracket order and just sell it that's where I wanted to sell, right? So now, once again, the same question comes, how much money is needed? I'm going to replace it with Nifty and show it to you how much money is needed. Go here. And if this is the sell price and stop loss will be 11503 and I want to sell it, I need to actually reset it because this will give me same thing. So I need to have it here fo fn uh, nfo nifty and i'm going to take nifty september this 75 stop loss will be 11503 because 11502 is my level up one point above i've kept a buffer and calculate you just need 12930 rupees and if you go here and check how much money is needed for nifty you will see that you require at least entire you need about um, this is here you are nifty needs about 24000 rupees here is nifty you need about 24000 so that means just 50% of this amount is what is needed to trade when you have a bracket order right so that's how bracket order can be used and that is how you can get the most beautiful most um, uh, you know uh, 
you can max your profit this way right but once again i'm cautioning you you have to be dead sure of your trades if you have a little bit of ambiguity if if you have little doubt um, you 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 are believing that it may hit my target or it may not it may be possible it may not be possible then please don't trade in bracket order right more often than not your stop loss will be hit right so guys uh, believing that you will and now just before i conclude i want to tell you that nifty's levels you know i have given it on my telegram channel the nifty level the most important level for me right now is 11449 right somewhere here is a very very important level if it breaks if nifty breaks this see here it's the same level let me just clear it up this is 449 somewhere here this is in case this is broken see nifty went up to that point just see here 1151451 till till that point it has gone and bounced from here so that definitely happens but if it breaks which it has more chances of doing that then i definitely expect it to go up to let me just tell you where can i expect it to go up to i will definitely expect it to go up to 422 right that's what i'm expecting that it may further come down to about this point here right so just keep it on your radar because i'm pretty negative i'm i'm i'm, I'm i have both the puts and i'm still holding it i want to max my max my profit so i'm following my uh, levels and i have a feeling nifty has gone to break once but it has not broken but the next time if it comes down with momentum and gusto then it will definitely be able to break this level of 11450 or 11449 then i think after that it will have a bit more profit booking in definitely coming in that's what i believe and it may have a capacity to go up to 11395 95 after that so hope for the best hope the video creates value in your life and you understand how do you max your profit if you're dead sure about it uh, about a trade and um, besides that you put the target and the stop loss in the same order take care guys good day remain connected stay tuned and keep learning good day all the best bye bye